I mean, I knew Hammond was no real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Hmm. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Huh. You have a point. Hmm. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Yeah, well, we already know that kind of that, don't we? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork in the file boxes you guys are loading. Hmm. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there... You could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Tents. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Oh. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Hmm. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Huh. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give all that right. to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs behavioral program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally say. Let me give the solution to them to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Awesome. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting oh, they work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. Yeah. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. All Jerry, right. You can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Okay. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay you know it's going Dr. to. Dr. Sorkin. <laughs> yeah, you know it's going to, right? <laughs> hmm. What do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out. 
but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. Sweet. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. Uh. And what about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Cool. I think we have to do it twice on each of the buttons. That's what I'm thinking. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. Dr. Harding? Yeah. East side speakers again. Yeah, because it's luring them out, look. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah. West side speakers, please. I guess we do the center though, right? Dr. Harding? Yeah. Activate the danger speakers. <laughs> There we go. Yep. That's it. They're out. Sweet. Good job, Jess. Finally. Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Uh -huh. Maybe I will. It'd be great. I heard that. <laughs> ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not going to let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Hmm. Just... Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Yeah, we kind of heard that earlier. Dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. All right, okay. Well, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. <laughs> I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember the girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Uh -huh. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. 
hear that? Ah, oh, she's taking up with the chopper. Though. Wow. Oh, spit. Yeah, and then you'll all die. Oscar, get over here. I'll pull you in. Come on, man. That's it. Crap. Crap. Come on. One more. Oh, spin. I do it. Tell that woman she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. What? No! No! Wow, that's Come on, BS. Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Oh my god. No! Really? Oh, the timing for this is so Come off. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. There we go. Hook sake. There you go. Well, you one stubborn son of a hey! <sighs> Nice, now we're all dead. What the hell? <laughs> no problem. You got this. Yeah, great. And you're about to get stabbed. Stab this thing! Now! Not gonna happen. I'm ready. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh my god, how are you? See you, nerd! <laughs> They're so bad, these ones, because it's like. You are doing so quickly. We good? Uh, no. Not so good. Oh, good. Fuck. Is the water ready? Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Really? Excellent. Wow. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. Except incoming chopper. That's it, Jess. We did it. Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Hmm. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Yeah. Danger. Girl, take it easy. Danger. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, those things. The raptors. Run! Lots of raptors. That's bullshit. Oh, spit. God. God. No! Ah, no dead. God damn it. That's fucked up, dude. Run. There you go. 
There we go. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate those double ones, I really do. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I hate those ones with the double movement like these. Aw, oh, shit, the fence is wrong. Well, I messed up. I'm doing it. Tell me to go left. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, that was awesome! How'd you do that? Huh. Guess the old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. Mm. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. That oh yeah, they did that. Forward. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Mm. Yes! It's Yoder! No, it's not. Look out! Oh, spit. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. Oh, come on! Really? Wow, so that's the end. That's interesting. Alright, so that's it then for the episode. Big, like, magic click hanger. One thing I'm noticing is that even though this is a, a Telltale game, it's not as tailored for how you play as the other ones. Um, so that's over. The tailored for how you play did start with The Walking Dead. It's more of a. It's got the all the Telltale interactions, but the choices don't really. You know, it's not. Uh, tailored by how you play thing. It's just like a more of an interactive kind of game. It's it's like a it's like a video game. It's basically more of a video game than something you need to worry about your choices meaning anything. Definitely tell it's a it's like I said at the end of the last episode. You can definitely tell it's more of a secret Monkey Island kind of game where you pick different dialogue options, but the story really plays out exactly the same no matter what you're choosing. You know, you choose different options in different places, but you don't really have to make uh, worry about your choices, meaning a negative repercussion later in the game. It looks like, um, which is fine. You know, which is completely fine. I mean, it gives me some experience on Monkey Island, but I'm really failing at the quick time events because they're very, they're very quick. Uh, I've noticed that there's so many like failings at the, especially when you've got to do double movement, right? Uh, you know, you press left and then press up. How do you know it's up when you press it? And I kept missing it, like a that complete slowpoke. <laughs> so, but, you know, we're doing it, so that's more than good enough for me. Anyway, I'm going to uh, move, uh, stop the video here, and we're going to move on to episode 3, The Depths. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far, and uh, I'll see you then. So, Simon Chaos signing off. Uh, subscribe to YouTube and ring the bell for video notifications. Uh, follow the social medias down in the description. You guys know what to do. Peace out. I'll see you for episode 3. Stay awesome.